XJAPAN Japan. It's a very, very long story, but um, because uh, almost 10 years ago, we, uh, our band broke up, then it took 10 years for us to get, you know, get reunited. Then, you know, when we did re uh, reunited shows, um, we didn't know it's gonna be uh, continuously doing it or just just one time thing. But eventually, uh, we did that uh, show. Then we got a uh, lot of uh, offers from outside of Japan as well. So then we did first of all tour. So they eventually we started decided to make a new album. But we didn't know what kind of direction we should go, like because we wanted to create some kind of like um, ex Japan's introduction album towards the world. So for, for several years ago, we were trying to create 50% song from the old uh, old album or um, old hits, and the 50% from new new song, a new new song, new composition. But it didn't feel right. So then also after world tour. Um, first World Tour was kind of painful because we always, always wanted to go outside um, with the um, you know, Hide and then, um, the members we had before. But of course we had an amazing you know, guitar player, um, Suizo, join. But it was very painful. So we, we had to take um, a few years break to really think what we, what we really want to do. Then, but during that time, I kept writing and writing. So, they eventually got great uh, selection of new songs. So, then we decided to release an album. So, uh, because of Ek Shepan had so much drama. Um, um, the, our agent uh, in America, um, his name is Mark Geiger. Uh, he's the head of uh, WME, William Morse Endeavor. I mean, head of music at William Morse Endeavor. He suggested, like, why don't you create a documentary film or like even feature film, like. Um, drama of Ek Japan. The first reaction I said was, was a great idea, but it was very painful, too painful to make it.
um, as like uh, over 10 years ago, uh, we did the, um, was it over 10 years ago? No, 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 uh, longer than that. So, we, so when we broke up, we did, a sh uh, we did a show called Last Live, The Last Live. Um, so after that show is done, I couldn't even look at that um, concert footage. So then I was gonna just bury it, you know, uh, in the ground or in, 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 uh, anywhere. So I didn't even touch that. But people, that my friend from Universal at that time, uh, Japanese Universal CEO came to Los Angeles and he released this, the last drive. I said, it's impossible. I cannot even look at first five minutes. I'm gonna start, I start crying. So anyway, eventually he convinced me so it took almost two years to edit because, because of the, the pain, sadness. Anyway, so then now we, are, we have to create that, our entire story. How could we do it? You know, it was so hard to open that door. Um, of course, there are a lot of great memories as well, but there are so many a lot of sad memories. So, but eventually, he convinced me, uh, agent convinced me, also I agreed. So we started going back to our history as well as our future. So Manson Square Garden was part of that film. Um, yes. So it's not going to be like a music video, more like a drama. I was scared because to even watch, I, I saw a little bit of the, how do you say, trailer. It was already hitting my like, heart, like very strong. Like, but um, hopefully I can watch everything when, when it's done. Um, then I think it's going to be a great film. So I mean, agent convinced me that story needs to be, you know, people need to know your story, like Akshaban's story. Wembley, um, the, the show part, you know, the, we, also we're gonna do this, we're gonna, the Wembley show, we're gonna do a uh, premiere for us like 100 minutes or two hours, depends on the film length. We're gonna show that film first. They're gonna have like an uh, hour break or less, then we're gonna kick, uh, show's gonna kick off. So I think there's a big possibility, show may, and we may stream the show. Sure, but the film part, no, we can't stream the film yet. So it's just there. Yeah. Yeah. Are you going to do something special? Yes, sure. We're going to be releasing the album the day before the show. I started playing piano when I was four years old. My parents uh, bought me a piano and then got me a teacher. Also, my father used to play piano. Uh, not like um, classical piano, but jazz piano. Also, he was jazz, I mean, tap dancer um, as well. We were also running, running the old kimono shop. Um, anyway, so then he bought me a uh, Oh, every uh, year, my birthday, he bought me a music instrument, like trumpet or, or whatever. But he passed away when I was 10 years old. He actually killed himself. That year, my mother bought me a drum set. So then I was so depressed and then like, crying every day, so much in pain. But I started banging drums when I was 10. So, but I didn't, I didn't quit piano. So I started doing both, you know piano and drums.
Yeah, completely. I mean, last time we played, I mean, I played uh, as a solo um, last year, just last year. But last time with Ek Japan, we played Shepard Bush. Yeah. Yeah. I thought that was a really amazing show, and then the audience was really amazing. So we were always wanted to come back here. Um, I mean, in general, the European tour was really good. So when we are thinking of releasing the album, we said we all talked about let's do it something in Europe. So then decided to do the November release, and I'm just very, very excited. <laughs> Um, we talked about my agent a couple of times. Yeah, we did uh, some, um, well, some event. Yeah, actually, uh, several years ago, we uh, also uh, joined the event called Alpalooza in America. It was great. Um, Ekshapan's music is very, um, our position is very, how do you say, strange. Um, we are not. We are, we are, we know, we are metal, we are heavy, but we are not completely that genre either. So, usually when we talk about this, people have, uh, the organizer have, having hard time, where does Ekshapan fit? But we would love to, you know, uh, join all those, you know, rock events. <laughs> We can finally announce our very big event. March 12th, 2016, Japan will be performing at Wembley Arena. Yes, <laughs> Yes, this is um, Yoshiki meets Hello Kitty. <laughs> I don't know how this one ended up being here. But um, yeah, it's like uh, it's a collaboration between Hello Kitty and me. Um, you see this one in my dressing room because when I get very upset, <laughs> But when I look at his face, I'm like, oh, I can't, I can't be mad. <laughs> so my staff keeps this too, you know.